Hello and welcome to Celtic Reptile and Amphibian. Today's video will be all about the Eyed Lizard. Now the Eyed Lizard is notably one of Europe's largest lizards, capable of growing to an impressive 80 centimeters in length, with its tail roughly equating to two thirds that. This lizard goes by many names like the Jewel Lacerta, the Oscillated Lizard, as well as of course its scientific name, Timon Lepidus, which means of honor and pleasantness which I think is quite a fitting name for such a benevolent species. The eyed lizard inhabits large parts of southwestern Europe, including countries such as Spain, France and Portugal. They have rather a distinct black tessellation on their backs, accompanied by a symphony of blue spots. As you can see, they have a stunning green exterior, which depending on various factors such as UV exposure, diet and temperature, can be more or less prevalent. In terms of its ecological preference, the eyed lizard occupies dry, bushy areas with plenty of basking spots, such as scrubland, open woodland, or sandy expanses. Interestingly, for such a large lizard, this species has an apt capability for climbing. They're often found basking vertically on logs, rocks, and embankments, making them a truly spectacular species to watch. Juveniles, however, as shown here, are much more brown or dark green than their adult counterparts, with their characteristic markings being fainter and less striking. Eye lizards prefer, like most reptiles, a varied diet consisting of mealworms, crickets and morio worms, as well as countless other insects. However, due to this species being larger than the average lacerted, it is able to consume, on occasion, a pinky mouse. Like all our animals at Celtic, we provide the opportunity to consume plant matter, such as dandelions, as well as fruits, like raspberries and grapes. We believe this helps produce more exuberant, healthy animals. It is important to know that the feeder insect should also be fed a varied diet of fruit, veg and plant matter, since this is because the nutrients will be passed down to the lizards. Now another step to ensuring your lizard is as healthy as possible is to dust the insects with calcium powder and vitamins such as D3, in responsible doses of course. It's essential to your eye lizard's health that you use a mister like this one, which contains some rainwater that we collected from the night before. Eye lizards are smart animals, meaning they will really appreciate a vivarium with plenty of space to explore, dig and bask. Therefore, we recommend a vivarium of size 2 meters by 0.6 meters for a pair. The enclosure should also have 50 to 60 centimeters of soil for the lizard to bury down and hibernate. A variety of plant species from the eye lizard's native range, logs and stones, will help create a more natural, realistic environment for the lizard to enjoy. This also makes for great habitats for insects such as ants, spiders, and woodlouse that will naturally find their way into the enclosure. Remember, the larger the enclosure, the happier the animal, so don't hesitate to make a larger enclosure. At Celtic Reptile and Amphibian, we house all of our eyed lizards in converted greenhouses to make a Mediterranean climate. This also means that there are no external heating supply or UV bulb required. This sort of enclosure ensures the animal live the most naturalistic and healthy life possible, which can be seen from the stunning colours of our animals. In terms of temperature and humidity, this lizard is rather hardy and so can withstand temperatures as low as 10 degrees Celsius and as high as 40 degrees Celsius, with a happy medium of around 30. This species naturally loves to bask and so basking temperatures may need to be higher than the rest of the enclosure. However, you can achieve this by ensuring your enclosure is on the south facing wall with no sunlight obstruction. Mating usually occurs within the spring months and consists of the male biting the base of the female's tail, proceeding to intertwine. This kind of courtship is not too dissimilar to other lacertids. After a successful mate, the female will become extremely fat, usually two to three months later, with the outlines of eggs being visible. During this period, the female will actively look for ideal places to lay her eggs and may noticeably disrupt some soil or sand in the process. It is advised to keep an eye on the disrupted areas, as the female may lay her eggs there 
in clutches size usually around 8 to 22 eggs. The eggs can be collected and artificially incubated to maximise the yield of healthy hatchlings. Eggs can take anywhere between 8 to 14 weeks to hatch and this all depends on the variation in temperature. So that concludes our video on the eyed lizard. If you have any further questions that have not been answered during this video, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer them. If you have found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more. And as always, from all of us to all of you, have a great day and stay tuned with Celtic Reptile and Amphibian.